Today we're talking about the Saucony Endorphin Speed 3. Yes! But before we go into why I love this shoe, let's talk about what they've changed and why. But why I need that shoe right here. Yeah, the reason why they changed the Speed 3 is also the same reason they changed the Pro 3. And that's to separate these two a little bit. They were almost identical, one with a carbon plate, one with a nylon plate. But now they're a little bit more separated and more specialized towards what they're meant to be used for. So you have the Pro 3, which is purely competition, fast intervals. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the Pro 3. But if you want a daily trainer, it is heavier, it's softer, it's more plush, it has a little bit more stability. But the funny thing is, the changes, they didn't make the shoe weigh anything more. But what are the changes? Let's toss away the Pro 3 and get another shoe. Oh yeah, there it is, the Speed 2. Now, maybe from afar it doesn't look too different, but there's some major differences, especially if you look at the heel. You can see there's a huge difference between the width of the heel here. So the Endorphin Speed 3 has got a lot more girth to it. The entire stack height is like half a millimeter higher in both heel and forefoot, so that's close to nothing. But the difference here in the width is insane. Inside the midsole, there's also a little bit of a difference, and that is the new plate that's in the Speed 3. This shoe is a little bit more flexible than the Speed 2. You can actually really notice it right around where this wing thing comes out. And that's also a big difference. This one has wings. And the wings are there for a little bit more stability, also because there's softer foams. When it comes to the upper, there's a little bit of a difference. You see the Speed 2 had a two layer upper. It was thin, it was nice. Now there's a one layer mesh here on the Speed 3. It's a little bit more casual daily trainer feel to it. It's a little bit more comfortable on, in my opinion, and it has a better tongue. The tongue is really thin. It's not too thin so you can actually feel the laces, but it's thin enough so it doesn't hinder the breathability of the shoe. And the fit and the lockdown is amazing. It just sticks, in my opinion, from the get-go. And from the get-go, you also see that the shoe comes out of the box a little bit wide, and then you tighten up the laces and it just sticks really nicely. But that also means that if you have a tall arch or a wide midfoot, then you have space in the Speed 3 as well. So generally, a little bit of difference in uppers and a lot of difference in the midsole. Now, out with this as well. How does it feel to run with? That's the most important thing. And there is a difference. When you run fast, you really don't notice that much of a difference. You only notice that this shoe is softer right here. So it is more bouncy, it is more soft in the heel, and that is a little bit of a difference between the Speed 2, which feels a little bit more responsive and firmer when you run in that one compared to the Speed 3. There's just a lot more foam. The volume is bigger, there's more girth, but that speed roll technology, that little helps you forward anyway. So it doesn't hinder you in any way, but it's a bigger shoe than the last version. Now the Speed 1, Speed 2, great shoes. Speed 3, at least as great, maybe even better. I think it's even more versatile for more people, I would say. It's a really nice daily trainer for those who want that light daily trainer. It's a great tempo and competition shoe for those who want a little bit more volume, a little bit more softness in their shoe. So Saucony nailed it again. It's almost like it's a mandatory purchase for every runner who loves to run. Remember, you can buy it on runningexpert.com.